Hooray, refights. Refights, yay. So the best part of any Mega Man game. I hate yeah. refights. Why do we have to do this? I don't know. I changed the uh, music because I'm sure you don't want to hear a hundred times as the music starts up again and again. Oh, that's so very nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad in the original, too. Oh, hey, look, it's Yellow Eddie. Ah! Oh. <laughs> what an asshole. He's mad at us for having killed him in Minus Infinity, huh? Yeah. So anyway, weakness talk. Basically, mm. each one of the Robot Masters has two weaknesses. Okay. One of them does uh, three damage and the other does four. And That's aside interesting. Yeah. And they basically make two completely separate weakness chains. And aside mm -hmm. from that, every boss takes two damage from every weapon except for gravity hold. So, there's a lot, you don't need their weakness specifically if you have a really good weapon to kill them with. Did that life pellet just home in on Yeah, they do that. I don't nice. know why, but it's a nice <laughs> thing. So, Water Wave. It's Unfortunately, definitely... Water Wave goes off screen and is also what? affected by gravity. Uh, that definitely surprises me. Yeah. Nothing at all is affected by gravity normally. Why would Water yeah. Wave be? Na Napalm Bomb isn't even affected by gravity in they the must, same game. So they it's must really weird. have coded in it specifically for Water yeah. Wave. I huh? guess so. <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's really confusing. Anyway, okay. Wave Man is a complete joke because you can sit on the ceiling and he can't hit you. <laughs> I have proof of this tactic. Yeah. And then you They're... can throw a star crash at him and he can't hit you. And the second weakness? Uh, that would be going... Gyro Attack. <laughs> ah. But Gyro Attack isn't as effective as Star Crash, so... Especially Star Crash on the ceiling. Most obviously. <laughs> yeah. So but Water Wave again. Idea. This time, Water Wave will actually be pretty effective. Mm, yeah, definitely. Yeah. As long definitely. as you, as long as you stay the right distance, so you don't get the weird passing through without hitting them thing, it's pretty good for mm. bosses. The arc isn't too bad. It should just be the weakness of more things, basically. Yeah. And Stone Man jumps a lot, so it's really good for that too. Yeah, Charles Kick is an idea for that fight. That much is obvious. Yeah. Uh, but I do like that philosophy for refights because they're really, really easy because of the two weaknesses. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm um, still bad at being crystallized, so we're gonna use the easier weakness. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely easy. That's also a good thing because uh, giving him a weakness that makes him easier doesn't really break anything because he's easy as pie anyway. Mm -hmm. He, on the other hand, might be trouble. No, you can sit on the ceiling with him too, and he still can't hit you. Uh. <laughs> His other weakness is uh, Star Crash, which is pretty good to use because you can just lay it behind you and he'll walk into it. But or you sit on the ceiling and <laughs> yeah, you sit on the ceiling and just no effort. Him. Air sliding, just sit on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so I'm being stupid here, and I'm going to get punched several times while I'm trying to use oh. uh, Power Stone. Ah, the powers of football left you. Yeah. Fortunately, we still had Gyro Attack, which is more effective because he doesn't leave the ground, so... Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, only two to go, and I should know it. It's uh, Charge Kick? Yeah, it'd be Charge Kick and Napalm Bomb. Fortunately, there's only one Crystal Man, so... No. You don't need, <laughs> you don't need to worry about having five of them. <laughs> Napalm Bomb is really good because you can hit, you usually hit both the Crystal Eye and him at the same time if they're yeah. in the right positions. It's a good idea, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's certainly more thought out than the uh, vanilla games. Yeah. Weaknesses. Charge Kick is slightly riskier, but it does more damage, so they're both really good weaknesses for that. Yeah, if you can line it and time it up perfectly, um, then that's also really good. So you might be asking, how did they manage to make Wily Press an interesting boss? The short okay. answer is they didn't. They this just is... replaced him with something else. Yes. <laughs> this is a crystal. Uh, Dectalon refers to them as uh, Toho crystals, and that's about as good a description as any. Makes sense, yes, because there... holy shit, done nothing. Yeah. There's uh, seven of them, and they each have a different way of attacking, and they all have 18 health. 
<laughs> I did the math and that's like four and a half bosses worth of health. <laughs> but that's definitely an interesting fight. <laughs> yeah. Beat Cannon takes them out in three hits, so you definitely want it. Other than that, Star Crash is the second best weapon because it absorbs everything that they do. Mm -hmm. Kind of wonder what this guy would do. Does it just shoot down this bullet and that's it? Yeah, the balls uh, kind of orbit around, and this one, uh, this one oh. took fought, took from the uh, Magna Centipede school of fighting. Just wanted to say it reminds, it reminds me a lot of Magna Centipede yeah. or Magna, whatever. <laughs> but Pete can really sh uh, sh does get its own. Here. Yeah. Shows that it's good. So. Wow, bullet spray. Yeah. Ah, that's what the balls do. All right. Yeah. The other balls just orbit around. They're kind of lazy. Ah. Okay. So you don't have enough uh, beat cannon. You can only have enough for like four of them, and then you can like severely damage the other one. So we're really back to using Star Crash, which absorbs these floating uh, light balls. And it's oh, also good because he follows you around, so you can leave it as sort of a mine to, for him to run into. Dylan is going to have a field play with this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's a very long, drawn-out fight, so you probably going to chug several E-tanks. So we'll see you for the end.